Hi everyone! In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to crochet a simple double-sided cord using the crochet puff stitches and cluster stitches. Here I have another same cord made in different color. You can use these cords in any of your lace projects for decoration or as a ballot bracelet or necklace. Let's begin the work. For work, you need a ball of yarn and a crochet hook. Begin the work by making a chain of 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now join the chain in the round by making a slip stitch into the first chain stitch. The foundation ring is ready. Begin the first row. Chain 4 to bring up the yarn. 1, 2, 3, 4. Into the foundation ring make the puff stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop from the foundation ring. Repeat 5 times. Here I did 1. Continue yarn over, pull up a loop. 2, 3, 4, and... 5. Then yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook except the last one. Then yarn over and pull through 2 remaining loops. Tied it up. The puff stitch is ready. Now turn the work to continue. Start row 2. Chain 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. First, start the same puff stitch working under the chain of 4 we made on the beginning of previous row. So yarn over and pull up a loop, repeat 5 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now, do not complete the puff, hold all these loops on the hook and begin the 3 double crochet cluster stitch working into the foundation ring. So make 3 unfinished doubles into the ring. 1, 2, and the last one, 3. Now, to complete the cluster, yarn over and pull through the first 3 loops on the hook. Then chain 1, make it tight. Then yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook except the last one. Then yarn over and pull through the last two loops to complete the puff. Tied it up. The second row is ready. To begin row 3, chain 4. 1, 2, 3, Four. Turn the work to the other side to continue and repeat the same. Under the chain of four of previous rows, start the same puff stitch, but do not complete it. So repeat yarn over and pull up a loop five times. Two, three, four, and five. Hold all these loops and continue with the three double crochet cluster, working into this space between the chain of four and the puff of row before the previous one, row one. So make three unfinished doubles for the cluster. Two and three. Then yarn over and pull through three loops on the hook to complete the cluster. Then chain 1, make it tight, yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook except the last one. And then yarn over and pull through the remaining two loops to complete the puff stitch. The third row is ready. To continue, turn the work and repeat the same stitch sequence. Repeat row 3. So this will be row 4. Chain 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Under the chain of 4 of previous row, start the puff stitch. Repeat yarn over and pull up a loop 5 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Do not complete the puff yet. Hold all loops and continue with the 3 double crochet cluster working into the space between the chain of 4 and the puff and row before the previous one. So make 3 unfinished doubles for the cluster. 
two, and the last one, three. Then yarn over and pull through three loops for the cluster, chain one, tie it up, yarn over and pull through all other loops except the last one. And then yarn over and pull through the remaining two loops. Make it tight. The third row is ready to continue. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Turn the work and here repeat the same over and over till you reach the desired length. You need to repeat row three over and over. In this tutorial, I showed you how to make such a nice and fast to crochet cord using a combination of the puff stitch and a double crochet cluster stitch. This cord is double sided and the pattern repeat for this cord is only one row, which you need to repeat over and over till you reach the desired length. You can use such cords for making bracelets, necklaces, handbags, or home decoration. Thank you so much for watching. We wish you all the best in your craft and please follow us for more unique crochet projects.